guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. So today we are going to be reboxing my Sylvanas collectible 18 inch statue. Um, I did a video when I first got this a few years back of me unboxing it and I am in the process of getting ready to move and now we will have to rebox her and get her ready for shipping and I just thought it would be a lot of fun to kind of show me putting her away because I showed me opening her when I first got her. So basically I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I don't have my like instruction manual anymore or at least I don't know where it is and I don't even know if it comes with like instructions on like taking her apart. I know that she obviously did kind of go together in sort of a specific order um, but we are basically just gonna figure it out um, and hopefully everything goes okay. Um, I'm also going to be cleaning her off because she is a little bit dusty. So to clean her off I just have a damp rag and I think as I take each piece apart I'm just going to kind of wipe it down real quick so she's not so dusty this time. So as you guys can see, yes I did clear off my shelf back here with all of my World of Warcraft stuff so it's a little bit empty as well as this little shelf here which I usually have my like stuffed animals on but right now it is no more, so I do have like four boxes over there that have been packed up and this is the next thing on my list to be put away. I also packed my Sylvanas cosplay yesterday and I didn't end up filming that because it was just kind of an unorganized mess. I didn't really know how to like put everything back into my box that I got my cosplay in and like I didn't want to seem like unprofessional and I totally probably did pack it not super well so it was just a mess so I didn't film myself doing that but this I think we should be okay to get some footage of. So basically I am just gonna try my best to start disassembling her. I believe the quiver just pops off. Yep that is really easy. Um, and then as we do I'm just gonna go ahead and give everything a little bit of a wipe down um, and then I will have to get this box open so I can kind of start looking at where everything goes. But for now I'm just gonna kind of focus on trying to uh, get as many pieces off as I can. I believe her cloak pops off as well, obviously, but I think her shoulders are kind of holding the cloak in place, so I'm going to have to figure out if those come off first or if it's her head first. I believe it's her head. I'm just very scared of, like, I don't really know how to pop them off, and I don't want to do it. Oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it was her head, and then her shoulders, and then her um, cloak, and then the rest should be pretty easy. So I'm just kind of giving everything a quick little wipe down to make sure that she is nice and clean and good to go into her box and everything. We have a headless Sylvanas over here, you guys. Okay, I can't believe that this day has come. I obviously have not ever taken her apart before because there was never a need to. So this is the first time, but you guys can see... I think that you can see anyways that it's, it's pretty dusty. Apparently my SD card was full so I just switched it out. I don't know if anything like changed in terms of my camera angle or anything but basically I had this awesome idea of putting all of the pieces that we have uh, finished up on top here so you guys can kind of see like what we're dealing with. Uh, both of her shoulders off, her head and her quiver um, and those are all wiped down so they're not too dusty so let me just give you guys a more up close. I should probably be very careful with like trying to pick her up because if I dropped her, that would be sad. But yeah, this is her so far. Um, doing the de-assembly of Sylvanas Windrunner um, as we may soon do in the new raid, which I do not want to take part of. I'm just going to pop off um, this little strap that she has that I guess kind of attaches her cloak. Ooh, that was a lot heavier coming off than I thought. So this is, I think, like one of the bigger pieces of her um, and this one's pretty dusty because it's a pretty large surface area so this definitely needs to be cleaned off a little bit here oh my god this is so cool I'm like getting extreme memories of when I first got her and putting her together like it's been so long but it also feels like it was literally just yesterday so it's a really really cool feeling and it's also just really cool knowing that like I'm gonna be able to put her back together again when I move and it's just a whole experience. Like I mean I literally haven't done this since I've gotten her because it's honestly just kind of one of those things where to really do it I would have had to take her apart to do it so this is probably a really really good necessary thing to do that I probably should have done anyways because yeah definitely in there oh my god I might even need to get something smaller or like 
a q-tip or something to get in there because guys those little crevices are disgusting <laughs> low-key hope that they make another sylvana statue with her updated shadowlands model because i would definitely buy it even if it's a couple hundred dollars i mean why not um i did also order um the Helm of Domination from the Blizzard store, which has been like my next kind of like biggest purchase that I've gotten from there since my Sylvana statue. I really wanted to get like the Illidan statue really bad, but at the time I couldn't justify it. But at some point I would love to have them all. I don't even know if they're still available on the Blizzard site. I haven't looked in a while or if they're like sold out right now, but probably they're like super marked up on my eBay or something, but God, I would love to have them all. That is the cloak done we will just pop that right up here for now we are getting there you guys i think the next thing i need to kind of deal with is her bow um i don't really remember i think that she's just like holding it but this is definitely very fragile i mean i don't know what here let's just get rid of an easy one we can get rid of her little uh bow and arrow thing there um release the string Okay, I think maybe it just comes apart in the middle. God, I don't remember. At this point, I'm kind of thinking I might need to, like, open this box now so I can kind of reference um, all of the spots that we have left to fill. I'm just going to go ahead and place her right back down here because I just want her secure in her little platform again. And I think that now is the point where I'm going to open this box. I really kind of wanted to get her, like, apart and then open the box just because I like having this as like my background but I think that we need it now <laughs> okay this is another thing I haven't moved this box like at all for as long as I've had this like you guys I haven't even seen this other side in forever but we are doing it now just gotta get this open okay let's do this okay Alright, you guys, I'm probably the most dumb person ever. I just realized that I can totally still keep this out as my little display background and have this out. I don't really know why I didn't think that far ahead. I just didn't really process the two. Basically, I'm just trying to make enough room here right now so that I can actually show you guys what is going on. Um, this foam situation still kind of looks just as confusing. I thought that seeing all of the cutouts that I was dealing with was going to help me figure out what all needs to come apart, but I'm still just as confused. So we are going to get there together and hopefully we can make this all work out. With this, I don't know how much you guys can see, but luckily I can tell I'm pretty sure that that's like the rock piece that goes in there. Um, and I pretty much don't know what else everything else is. Maybe this is her body, but we're going to see and figure out what all fits and where it goes and whatnot. So regardless, we still have to get the bow off. And luckily, I went and referenced my own video to kind of see like how it went in originally. And it seems like her hand. Yep. Thank God. I was like, I don't know how to take this off and I don't want to break anything. But thank God her hand just comes off and is holding the bow. So... I am so glad I did that because I was trying to like kind of gently pull at things and nothing was wanting to come loose. So I'm definitely glad that I figured that out in the proper way and everything because I would lose my mind if I broke this in some way and that would just, it would just be a disaster and it would be caught on film and you guys would see me have a meltdown. So I'm glad that we sorted that out. So there we go. And, and I do also still have, I know that this came with like a plastic uh, things specifically for the bow and I do still have that so we will be using that in a moment. And guys look my iconic idea of putting the pieces up here again is back in action because we still got this box even though we have the foam out we're still good to use it as like a little table situation even though I know you can't really see like what's going on up here because it's so far away but at least you'll know in spirit that like there's some stuff up there you know so that's that's good. And then at this point, I'm actually pretty sure that that's all of it. Like, I think that this just stays together all in one piece. So that's pretty easy. So I think that we're pretty much good to go and to start putting stuff 
into here. I think that everything came in like plastic wrap as well. I don't know if I still have it all, but I do still have the original box that this thing shipped in. So I'm gonna go triple check and see if I have that stuff as well. The only piece of plastic I guess I still have left over was this. So I don't really know specifically what I will use that for, but we will see. But I do have this, which is meant for the bow to go into. So we may as well just go ahead and add that in here right now because we are done with that. So that should be easy enough. I think it just kind of sits in here. Maybe it goes the other way around. Let's see which way. Nope, definitely this way. Okay. Let me tell you guys, packaging things is hard when you don't have a reference, okay? But I'm also just going to go ahead. There's um, some little spots for her arrows to go and at one point I guess that there's supposed to be three of them um, and I only have two because one of my cats I guess took one at some point and hid it somewhere I don't know exactly where but I do not have it anymore so that is unfortunate but there we go her little bow and arrow uh, situation is all set to go here so we are just going to kind of close that up in here that should be good to go and I might even add a little piece of tape on here too just to make sure it's extra snug and secure. Our trusty little thing of tape and we will just seal this shut to make sure that that is not going anywhere because I do not want anything to happen to I'm guessing what would be the most fragile piece in this whole set is going to be her bow which is why it has its like whole um, plastic wrap situation here so there we go i think that that is good to go and that is obviously thank god obviously gonna fit right in here just like so there we go perfect you guys that is our first piece in we are good and then now i just have to uh, clean off my queen um which actually isn't too dusty because it was kind of covered by a lot of things like her cloak and her shoulders and whatnot so it's actually not too too bad god look at her booty you guys it does not get better than that it is so good i'm just gonna keep our sylvanas right there for now um, and give this rock piece a quick little wipe down and then we're gonna put this away because i'm pretty sure that it goes right in here um, based off of the weird like shape that they got cut out there so i guess that this would go this way there we go yep Perfect fit. Yay, we're doing it, you guys. So I decided to just kind of move my camera back so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, the next thing is I think that this is going to go... Let's see which way. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that this is where her body goes just based on what I'm seeing here. But I'm just trying to figure out which way she lays down. It kind of looks like there's room for her arm to go in here. God, you guys, this is the most confusing thing ever. I know that I probably seem like I'm really dumb, but I swear to God, this shit, this shit is weird, okay? It doesn't make any sense at all, not even a little bit. So with a little off camera time and confusion, I have finally figured out where the cloak and her body goes. I was having a really hard time, you guys. Like, it did not want to fit, but we got it, so now I can finally just show you guys me doing this. So the cloak right here, we're just going to plop that down right in here, right like that. It's got some kind of cool little cutouts here so that the bottom of like the ruffliness um, of the cloak, is that the right term? I don't even know, but that just fits in there really good. And then this, oh my god, I was having the hardest time figuring out how to put this in. And then finally, um, so it has these little like peg things at the bottom of her boots. And no matter how I did it, it wasn't wanting to fit in. But finally, I just kind of like forced it down, like sort of pushed this through the foam. And it kind of made like a little like cut through the foam. And now it finally fits. Like I don't know how it was in there before. And I was starting to think like, do these things come off or something? Like it does not want to fit. But if you squeeze it in, it will fit, and that's what she said. So, basically, you just plop her right in, and now it's good. But before, with this little, like, sticky out thing with her foot, she was just kind of, like, stuck sitting up, like, not going down. But now that I've just, like, forced it down, she goes in there pretty good. Um, everything's fine, and I even tested putting the, like top part back on and it totally works so everything is fine so right now we have 
pretty much all the like important stuff in here. So we got our rock piece down here, our cloak, her body, and then her um, bow and arrow situation here. All that's left, I also off camera was trying to figure it out. And I even had a little bit of a scare because I tried to put one of like her shoulders down in one of these holes and then it like fell down, but then it got stuck and I was freaking out. And like the little feather pieces were like getting stuck on the foam as I was trying to pull it out. And I was like, oh my God, like this is not good. But then I also realized that it's probably best if I am gonna stick these down any of these little holes that I probably use some of this like wrap so that at least it's easy to like pull it out because you can just grab onto the wrap but I had an even better idea because honestly I don't really specifically remember if they're all supposed to go into their own individual spots I think that they did but I think what I'm gonna do is there is this giant empty spot let me show you guys Right in here, there's this like empty area, and I think I'm just gonna put all of the kind of loose pieces in there and use this piece of plastic that I have as kind of like bubble cushioning for all of them. And I feel like that's just gonna make everything a lot easier for me and it's gonna be fine. So that's what we are gonna do, you guys. So I'm gonna start with um, putting a little bit down just as kind of like initial padding. And then you guys, we gotta put little Sylvanas Windrunner's head in here. We'll just pop her in, and then we're also going to put in both of her shoulders. So I'm gonna put one on the other side. And now at this point, because I have those two in there, I'm so sorry for any time my camera's been like shifting throughout this video. I keep trying to like move it to show you guys better, but I'm not even gonna bother. Basically, her one of her shoulders and her head is in there, and now I'm gonna kind of fold this over to kind of give those cushioning, and then I'm gonna put the other shoulder kind of like on top of them. So that should be good in there. We should be good and secure. Um, and then all that I have left is her quiver, and I'm just gonna kind of add that on top of everything. And then I think that. Honestly, I think it should be fine, but I think I might even have another piece of bubble wrap that I might put down just to like secure it and make sure nothing's gonna be like moving around. I found this like random, it's kind of deflated, but it's like kind of bubble wrap. So I'm just gonna put that over top so that is nice and good. Nothing's gonna move. I think everything's gonna be fine. And I think that we are done, you guys. Like that was a lot easier than I thought, but also still kind of hard because I definitely did have a hard time figuring out how to get like her torso and legs to fit into there and the cloak thing wasn't too bad I figured that out pretty quick but at first I was kind of trying to like try different ways to see how it worked here she is you guys this is her put away we are good to go I'm good to place the little foam bit on top but we did it everything is put away we are good to go and I'm so glad that I was able to do this with you guys and I hope that you found it um enjoyable it's kind of pointless i don't really know why i felt the need to do this but i did so i hope that you guys enjoyed it so now we are going to go ahead and seal her up we should be good to go yep perfect fit you guys that was so easy now i'm just gonna add um, a couple pieces of tape just so that um this doesn't like shift or anything when we put it back into here that everything's just super good to go oh my god that it's so unreal like I can't believe I'm actually putting her away right now and I have to go to sleep without her guarding me like literally there have been so many times where I've been like scared to go to sleep because I watched like a horror movie and I'm a baby and I look over at my Sylvanas and I'm like it's okay Sylvanas is here but I still have my wall art so she's still here it's all good one more piece of tape over on this side so that we have it fully taped and now we have the fun part of putting it back in the box which I'm not really sure I think the best way is to kind of like drop it in but I wonder if I can like do it on the ground kind of so we're gonna attempt both methods and we will just and we'll just see which one works better <laughs> I'm just gonna take this and put it this way so that the um this part is up this way so it's not really getting in my way and whatnot and let's see if I can maneuver this on my own get this out of here so sorry if that's like really loud with the phone but I think I think it's gonna work perhaps I take it back you guys I don't think that it's gonna work that way instead we're gonna go with the good old-fashioned way of just plopping it in there and hoping to God that this does not fall apart as I do so. 
You guys, it is happening. <laughs> we did it. Oh, there's like little bits of styrofoam. It looks like it's snowing in my room. I know you guys probably can't see that, but there's tiny little debris coming up. We did it, you guys. Oh my God, we boxed it up. We are like good to go. Oh my dear God. I can't believe it. We did it, you guys. We literally boxed up my Sylvanas statue. Um, I also have the big like shipping box that it came in, but I'm not gonna put it into that yet because honestly, I don't really need to until it's like the day to ship it. So at the very least, at least I can keep this here, um, but it's good to go. So when it comes time for me to move, I just gotta pop that into its box and tape it up and we're good. So you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me while I did this. I can't believe that she's gone. My like little Sylvana shrine is no longer here. It's just one more thing off of my list. We are good to go and I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. May the dark lady watch over you always and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.